Oh, here we go. Uh, I feel I remember part of this scene. I wonder, it's kind of taken into account some things that I've done up to this point, like what order I did things in or something, if I remember right. I, your chancellor, shall serve as prosecutor. I, Pierre, represent the defense. Members of the court, I will now bring forth the defendant, Chrono, who is charged with, charged with the abduction of Princess Nadia. What shall be his fate? To burn at the stake, perhaps? To feel the tickler or hang upside down? What's the tickler? I want to know what the tickler is before I try too hard to defend myself. Or shall we employ the guillotine? The choice is yours, good jurors. Now let us begin. Wait, the... Is, is there a choice where I'm not guilty, or is that just foregone conclusion? Judge, we shall first hear the testimony of the defense. Pierre, Chrono is charged with premeditated abduction of royalty. The question is, how could he be guilty of a crime that never occurred? prosecution would have you believe that the defendant kidnapped the princess. However, the truth is quite the con contrary. Not only was their meeting a coincidence, but it was the princess herself who asked Chrono if she could join him. Chancellor, is this true? Who was responsible for initiating contact? For initiating contact? I think I bumped into her. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Indeed, the defendant deliberately approached the princess, pretending it was an accident. Oh, come on, dude. Fuck yourself. Having subdued the princess, the defendant then coerced her into visiting Luca's little sideshow. There were countless witnesses to this. Shortly thereafter, both the princess and the defendant vanished. If that is not criminal abduction, I don't know what is. Several other acts have also been brought to my attention that called the defendant's character into question. Pierre, objection! This can not possibly have any relevance to the case. Judge, Ter care to respond, Chancellor? Chancellor, Chrono's character is at the very core of this case, Your Honor. This evidence will show that his testimony cannot be trusted. Very well, we have nothing to hide. Pierre, I would like to call a witness who can vouch for the defendant's good character. Did we help someone? Well, we helped the little girl with her cat. Is that? Oh, yes. Come on, tell him about the cat. That man brought my kitty back. Thank you, mister. No problem, little girl. Pierre, how about that? The man before you is a fine, upstanding youth. He deserves to be honored, not put on trial. I mean, it was just a cat, dude. Come on. I think you're a little carried away here. Pierre, whew, looks like they're buying it. Yeah, but now we gotta hear this guy tell me how actually cats are evil. Uh, I stole that guy's lunch. I think that's what this is about. Yep, we're just gonna answer honestly. Chancellor, see, he admits it. This man clearly lacks morals. Yeah, I didn't notice his lunch when I took it, though. It was just sitting on a table. That's him. That's the thief who ate my lunch. Right off the table, too. My dear wife worked all morning to make that meal for me. Yep, I did this. I did do it. 
I don't get to explain that I didn't know it was his lunch. It was just laying on a table. Chancellor, stealing from a helpless, hardworking citizen who only wished to enjoy the fair. How could anyone sympathize with such a ruffian? Pierre, the real issue here is motive. Was there any motive for this good youth to kidnap Princess Nadia? No, there was none. Chancellor, pardon me, but I believe the motive is quite clear. Greed. Her fortune did tempt you, did it not, Chrono? So I asked her if she'd be willing to sell the pennant, but that's just because the dude asked me to ask her. I'm just going to say yes. I feel like lying is worse because he obviously he knows all the answers to the questions already. He does not deny it. Nothing more, Your Honor. The prosecution rests. Could I have gotten away with lying? Did they actually know about that? Members of the jury, it is time for a verdict. If you believe the defendant guilty, stand to the left. Innocent, stand to the right. A verdict has been reached. The defendant has been found guilty as charged. He is to be placed in solitary confinement for a period of three days, after which he will be executed for his crime. Oh, brother. Chancellor, take him away. Marl, stop. Chancellor, Princess Nadia. Yeah, why wasn't she a witness to this? Like, why didn't she get called to testify or anything? This is insane. King, that's quite enough, young lady. But, father... All I asked was for you to remain at the castle and behave like a princess. What's done is done. Even royalty must obey the laws of the land. Leave the rest up to the Chancellor and forget about your little escapade in town. We are through here. Chrono. This shit got serious real fast. But, like, why would I bring her back to the castle? Is no one thinking about that? Like, if I kidnapped her and wanted to, like, hold her for ransom, why would I just walk in the front door of the castle with her? What the fuck are they doing? Chancellor, this man is a seditionist who meant to overthrow our kingdom. Give me a break, dude. He's bound, he has been found guilty by trial. I trust him to your care. Yeah, our trial wasn't about sedition, it was about kidnapping the princess. Warden. So this is the monster who abducted the princess. Chancellor. Her, his execution is three days hence. See that he is still here to attend it. Yes, sir. Guards! Take the prisoner away. That was uncalled for. I was not resisting. So now we're in prison. I think stealing the old man's lunch was the big mistake, which I didn't even realize I was doing that at the time. Days remaining until execution two. Oh, that's great. They just counted down. Wait, was that a was that supposed to be a rooster? That sound? Okay, someone needs to check on the rooster. Nice ball and chain here. Restored our HP and MP. Oh, yeah, I think that is supposed to be our rooster. Okay, days remaining one. Pipe down, you. Does he just keep saying the same thing? Huh? Oh, he does say something different. Okay. If he won't quiet down, I'll quiet him down. Open the door. Uh, is this... Okay, run out. Oh, okay. Yep, yeah, that hurt. 
Well, we're probably going to lose this because we don't have our weapons and stuff, right? Heh. <laughs> That's what you get for not doing what you're told. Yeah, we just got our ass kicked. All right. Wait, what do I... Wait. They didn't take my sword? What? <laughs> Who are these people? Why did they not take my sword? Oh, man. Yikes. All right. Oh, he's just gone. Well, I guess I'll go ahead and save again real quick since I'm free man now. Do that again. I don't even think I took any damage. Let's see what's in here. Ah. broken. It won't go all the way up. Maybe if we just try a few times, we'll jar it loose. No, I don't think so. Okay. What the hell is that? Th that's an enemy? I assume I should attack the one that's not guarding with this weird shield thing? Yeah, okay. Don't know what happened if I attacked that. Best case scenario is I just do less damage. Worst case scenario, I like there's a counter attack or something. All right, looks like there's a lot of ways to go here. Let's start with this one. Damn, that is rough. Ooh, creepy flame. All right, what's oh, I see. Cyclone on this dude just for fun. That's right. I leveled up. Anything in here? Nope. There's dudes. Bring it on. Oh, so you don't have to fight that guy. We just attack him. I don't know if I want to go up there because it's the only way I can go. I'm going to go check the other route and then I'll. Be back here if it turns out there's nothing there. Okay, maybe none of this will happen. So you're the one who's gone and slipped his cell, eh? I guess you could say that. Yeah, what can we really do here other than just attack him? I guess I could do Cyclone. At least Wind Slash. Does no damage, okay. Probably the worst thing I could have done then. There's a cyclone. So he must be like resistant to wind or something. Oh, he's dead. So. They don't pay me enough for this. <laughs> Alright. So I can go back this way now. It's weird with no music here. Like, why? There needs to be some music. Just killing all these dudes. This cell looks like it might have something interesting, so the door probably doesn't open all the way. Oh, it does. So there must be nothing in here. What the? Hmm, can we set this guy free? Yeah, let's free him. What if he's like a serial killer or something? Thank you, that was close. I'm Fritz. My father runs the market in Truce. Stop by if you're ever in the area. Ah, I see. Was he in a... Was he in the ferry place earlier? Or someone mentioned him? Tamed a mid potion. I think the woman in the fairy place mentioned that she hadn't seen him in a while or something like that. Bronze armor. Can we equip it? We already have bronze armor. Okay. And now we're getting attacked. Should be able to hit both of that, right? Or did they get a chance to move apart before? Nope. All right.
You know, I'm starting to worry that this is the right way. So I feel like I remember an important scene happening like on a bridge kind of like this. So I'm actually going to go back. I'm going to go back and check that other room that I left before checking. Okay, guys, I came back to this room and it did just have a bunch of chests in it. I've already opened them. So I'm glad I came back. Now I will run back to where I was. It's up here. Bunch of nothing. Ah, there's a hole in the wall in this one. Let's see. And it's already open. I, so I don't know why I push this button. So could I... Okay, I could climb up. But I've, we've gone upstairs, so the rooms... Can I maybe get into one of the... Rooms I couldn't get into before from outside? I feel like I remember there being something kind of like that. Okay. So I got a shelter. So this is one of them I couldn't open, and then there's a hole in the ground here. Can I fall in that? Fifteen hundred gold, nice. And a silver sword. I think that's an upgrade for me. Oh yeah. All right, now let's head up here. There he is. Let's get them both with cyclone. Nice. There down. Am I overpowered? Should I have not even grinded the little bit that I did? I feel like this is too easy, but I mean, maybe this is just supposed to be easy. Oh, this guy. Warden. S somebody help! Well, he didn't put up much of a fight. Jesus. Oh, Luca's here. Luca. Chrono, I came to rescue you. By the way, when I was editing my last recording, I noticed that at some point I switched from saying Chrono to Chrono. I don't know which one is right, but Chrono seems right for the character's name. And then Chrono, because it has the H in it, seems right for the game name. I don't know. What difference does an H make? I, to me, I'm just going to say Chrono unless I randomly start saying Chrono again. I'm not making any promises here. Luca. Oh, looks like you didn't need my help after all. Oh well. <laughs> well, I mean, I'll take it. Well, we'd better not stick around too long. Let's go. Okay, there's another save point. Alright. Do I have any new equipment for her? Let's check that. Nothing new for me. And I think I decided last time that speed belt was the best thing for her. The side scope reveals HP of enemies, but yeah, I think we'll just stick with the speed belt. Alright. Oh, yeah, this is what I was remembering, I think. At least I have a party member with me now to help me out. Pretty sure this is going to be a boss fight. What the hell is this thing? Chancellor. Forward, dragon tank. Crush those conspirators. <laughs> okay. Cyclone? Okay, there's like three parts on here. Flamethrower, that should hit everything. Maybe I should be focusing just on the head, because the head is healing the rest of it. Is that right? Yeah, we'll just... Oh, well, I tried to attack the head accidentally. 
attack to the wheel or something. Okay. Okay, we're definitely damaging it faster than it can heal, but I'm eventually going to have to heal myself here. have Luca use a potion on me this time. Oh, the head's down. That's good. So it's going to stop healing itself. So I'll do... Let's do Fire Whirl on this thing. Then I'll have her use a potion on herself. Nice. Let's do a Cyclone. Ooh. Goes really low. That was close. All right, the wheels are down. Come on. Some potions on ourselves. That was a little too close for comfort. All right. 40 XP, 500 ge gold. And a killing blow. Let's get off that thing while it's exploding, please. Thank you. Maybe we should get off this bridge, too. Chancellor. Look, my dragon tank. Fix it, quickly. Who's he yelling at? Oh, these guys. Okay. Yeah, they mm. Excuse me. Pardon me. Chancellor, don't fool yourselves into thinking you'll get away with this. All right. How did they get out of this predicament? <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Be seeing you guys. Oh, there's a chest here now. Shelter. There wasn't a chest you could open there before, was there? Or haven't I, have I actually been here? Or have I been in a different series of stairways that chest is already open I can't even reach that though so all right let's fight they're escaping Luca we've got no choice we'll just have to try to plow through all right well, I mean what if we let him catch us you're not going anywhere well I am Seems like I'm just going wherever I feel like and you're not actually stopping me at all. But maybe it'll be bad that they caught me later? They're escaping! Okay. Stop that right now, soldier. Princess Nadia. Morrow. That man is my friend, and you will treat him as such. Soldier. But, your highness. You refuse to obey my orders? No, I... I forgive me, my lady. Hold it right there. How did how did they get out of the predicament on the bridge? I want to know. Okay. Anyway, the Chancellor's here. Chancellor, on your knees, His Grace King Guardia the 33rd comes before you. Is that how you say it? The 33rd or just King Guardia 33? I think it's the 33rd, right? Marl, Father, King. Silence, Nadia. Your duties come before your whims. You are a princess before all else. No, I'm not. I'm a person first and a princess second. All of these little excursions of yours outside the castle seem to be having a bad influence on you. It's not influence. It's common sense. Nadia. 
I can't live in this stupid castle anymore. I'm leaving. Chancellor. Princess Nadia! Tomorrow. Come on, Chrono. Oh, there I go. Chrono. It's gonna be all over the place. I'm just telling you that right now. Chancellor. Don't just stand there. After them. King. Oh, Nadia. Soldier. There they are. Don't lose them. There's nowhere left to run. Come along quietly. We can just get around these guys, right? No? Juke them? Yeah, you said that already. There's an open glade here. Oh, there's a thingy. There's a rift. Morrow. Looks like a dead end. Luca, a gate. A gate, not a rift. What was I thinking? Morrow, come on. Come on. We have no idea where it will take us. We might not even be able to get back. Who cares? Anywhere's better than here. Chancellor. Princess Nadia. Luca. This is totally irrational, you know. Morrow. Hurry, Chrono. Can we open this yet? Excuse us, guys. Don't capture us right now. I just, yeah, can't open it. All right. Here we go. See ya. <laughs> Chancellor. They, they disappeared. Oh, man. Marl. Eek. Luca. Ow. Morrow, there's no way the Chancellor can get us here. But where are we? Luca, the civilization here seems pretty advanced. Morrow, it almost seems like we're in another world. All right, guys, that's it for today's episode. A little bit of a shorter episode. I think I'm going to try to start getting these down under half an hour. That just helps me with rendering and upload times. And uh, I think it'll just help to make the videos a little more concise and just focus on the story. But yeah, if you enjoyed today's episode, feel free to like and subscribe, leave a comment, all the standard YouTube things. And I will see you in the next episode.